In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a cube and make a slope along the top that goes from a high point to a low point on the opposite corner. I'll start by making a polyline. Okay, it will begin at the high point, then it will go to the low point, then it will go vertically. You want to make sure you have ortho turned on. Okay. And then if you type in C, it will close that shape. So I have now this sort of triangular polyline drawn. Now what I'm going to do is extrude that polyline um, using the extrude curve command. Pick that object, press enter, and I just want to make it uh, large enough that when I move it, it will cover the whole cube. Okay, so again, let's take a look here. All right. Then what I want to do is so since this this um, new extrusion is only covering half of it, I'm going to move it over this way so that it it um, basically overlaps the whole top of the cube. So I'll use the move command pick the object, um, snap to the midpoint of the extrusion, and then over to the high point. Okay, so we'll look at it from the side, and you can see it's now overlapping the whole cube. If I change the visual style to shaded, you'll also see that my extrusion needs to be capped. So I'm going to type in cap and click that new extrusion. All right. Now all I need to do is use the Boolean difference command. Um, select the surfaces or poly surface to subtract from. Okay. Press enter. And what am I going to subtract with? This new extrusion that I've made. Enter. Okay. So there it is with this angled top. And you can then erase the polyline that was used uh, for the extrusion, the extrusion process.